And um, I think uh, maybe a couple months went by and the next meeting I went to, they had opened up the auditorium. There were over 250 people. And I went, whoa! And the lady recognized, she said, we're here to see you again! And um, it turned out that uh, people in the diabetic support group who tried the protocol start coming off the medication. They started getting better. And in some cases, you can see the turnaround in less than 30 days. And if you measure it, you can actually see a, a decrease in your insulin resistance within 14 days. And it was going so well <laughs> that the doctors called the American Diabetes Association and said, who is this engineer telling people how to eat? So they fired the ADA director. They fired her. When they called me in office, the, the, the super director, whatever he was, he said, uh, Dwayne, we got to let you go. I said, what? He said, we got to let you go. I go, what? He's, and he, I could see he was getting a little pissed off at me. He goes, you're fired. I said, oh. He goes, you, you understand that, don't you? I said, no, I don't. He goes, why not? I said, I'm a volunteer. He goes, you're a what? I said, I'm a volunteer. He goes, wait a minute, you've been coming to these meetings, handing out these documents and helping people for free? I said, yeah. He goes, oh, what's the catch? I said, oh, there's no catch. I just got lucky and I just sharing some of my luck with other people. He goes, well, Dwayne, uh, we can't have this going any further. And it's for your own good that we stop this. I said, stop what? We, we, we got to stop people from getting well. I said, what? He goes, oh, I mean, well, I don't mean well, I mean getting better. I said, what? He goes, well, no, I mean not getting better, uh, coming off the medication. Oh, we got to stop that. He goes, Dwayne, you got to understand, we get funding from, um, uh, I forget the name of the company, Glaxo, Smith Klein, Squibb, uh, a couple other companies they, they mentioned. They said the pharmaceutical companies give us our funding, and we can't have someone standing up in a diabetic support group meeting telling people, number one, how to beat this disease. Number two, it be successful. See, it's okay to have diabetes educators in America as long as they don't figure out how to beat this disease. I've taught diabetes educators. I've taught nutritionists. I've taught dietitians. They themselves are manipulated by the same system as the doctors are. <laughs> and it's not their fault. They just have limited knowledge. But most of us don't realize that they're limited in their knowledge. So we follow their program and we remain diabetic. And I'm going to share with you a very simple protocol. For those of you that have any doubt in this program, don't buy the book, don't buy the DVD. Try the protocol. If you're a diabetic, within 14 days, you'll know whether or not Dwayne McCauley is crazy. The protocol is a breakfast protocol. <coughs> Two cups of steamed broccoli, or two cups of steamed spinach. That's your carbohydrate. For the protein, two ounces of baked wild salmon. Not farm salmon, wild salmon. If you don't like fish, you don't like salmon, then try an omega-3 egg. For the fat, for the oil, one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You put that on the vegetable after you steam it. And for the liquid, 24 ounces of filtered water. That's the protocol. 24 ounces of filtered water. The meal that I've just described to you, what's that? Someone say something? 
the meal I just described to you is a synergistic, what I refer to as a super meal. And why do I call it that? Because each component of that meal helps your body to absorb maximum nutritional value, to obtain maximum nutritional value. I'll give you an example. Everyone knows vegetables, especially the green vegetables, bright colored vegetables, contain chlorophyll. They also contain other antioxidants, carotenoids, other polyphenols. Many of these nutrients are fat soluble. The average person in this room, when you eat spinach or broccoli, your body is only able to extract maybe 30% of its nutritional value. However, when you consume that same broccoli and you add the extra virgin olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil allows, enables your body to extract the fat-soluble nutrients locked inside the vegetable. The protein, wild salmon, <laughs> it contains antioxidants as well. And so, this synergistic meal, your body will absorb anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of the nutritional value instead of 30 percent. It's like getting three meals in one with the same calories. Of course, that won't happen the very next day because your cells have to be retrained, reprogrammed to handle these foods properly. So it's not going to happen the next day. The one other thing I want to share with you concerning the protocol is a, uh, a basic understanding of the biology of the disease called diabetes. Because once you understand the biology of diabetes, and this applies to cancer, heart disease, all of these diseases, there is a biological model to understand. Once you understand the model, then it makes sense how to fight the disease. The disease is your enemy. The only way to beat the enemy is to go after its weaknesses and understand its strengths. So let's go back to eighth grade of biology class. In biology class, we were taught the cell, the unit of life, is made up of four macronutrients. Every cell is made up of four macronutrients. What are they? We know one is water. Lipids, fat, that's another one. Protein is another one. And the other one is monosaccharides, or a fancy name for carbohydrates. Think about what I just told you. <laughs> the major macronutrients within the cell are proteins, fat, liquids, and carbohydrates. Let's think about this for a minute. What is a disease? Whether it's diabetes or heart disease, those, those two in particular. When you have a disease, the cells are defective. The cells are not working properly. Well, if a cell is broken, and this is just an engineer talk. And I wanted to fix this. What if I consumed the best liquid? What if I consumed the best protein, the best fat, the best carbohydrate? Maybe the cell may be able to use these raw materials to repair the body. Now that kind of makes sense. So the best carbohydrates, especially for a diabetic, are vegetables, 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 green vegetables, bright colored vegetables. Best protein? You know, nuts and seeds, wild salmon in particular. The best fat? There's only one. Extra virgin olive oil. It is the best oil for a diabetic's body. It's number one. The number two oil for a diabetic's body is extra 